then for face powders, for face powders, for blush, or like how in England they say for blushers, blushers, um, I love the NARS um, Desire, and then for, um, whatchamacallit, for drugstore, I love the e.l.f. Pink Passion. Do you see them? I mean, of course the NARS one is a lot more pigmented and, like, brighter, but they are both amazing colors. Um, even though I don't like my actual pink, red, flushy cheeks showing through, I love using these. <laughs> Um, there's also a sleek one, so if you are a, um, British viewer, sleek also has one in the same kind of color area. I would love to get that because I, even though they're all the same, I would like to compare all three, like do a video on them, like which one's better. So the NARS one is $23. And it looks like that comes out very pink on your cheeks and you just, there's like a glare so you can't exactly tell. This is more like a, the elf one's chalkier and it's a little more, um, this one's deeper. This is more of a fuchsia and this is more of like a hot pink kind of color. But I love both of them. I use both of them on and off um, throughout, the, throughout the year actually. I have to say, Pink Passion is probably the only thing that's in this list that I've used probably the whole entire year. Yeah, if you go back to my first, like, my first video, which was in February, this is probably going to be in one of them. So, yeah, love that stuff. Now, I'll do, um, eyes. I'll start off with mascara. So, for mascara, I've been loving the Benefits They're Real and the... NYC um, High Definition Separating Mascara. Um, so yeah, these two are very, very similar. This one is $22. This one I believe is $5 or $6. Um, I'll show you the brushes. The Benefit Their Real Brush looks like this. It has a little bowl at the top that has the spikes coming out so it's easier to get in the inside or the bottom lashes. Um, it gives you a lot of volume. It gives me a good length too, volume and length. More, I feel length and volume, but I like that, I like the length. And then the NYC one looks like this. Um, it doesn't have the same kind of like ball at the top, but this gives you like the nice, thick, like spidery looking lashes, and I like that too. And this one has a different like like, it has a better, this one has a better consistency, like the mascara, um, than this one. I know, this is, I feel like this one's, if you could even say creamier, this is a little bit rougher. Um, so yeah, I've been loving these two. So yeah, I would definitely go for the NYC. They come in a different, they all have the same, um, you know, brush, but they all come in different, it's like a different thing. This is like 70% length and 50% volume or something like that. They come in different, um, steps. I had an orange one too that was 80% length and something volume. I don't know, there's a blue one and there's a green, there's a pink one. I think there's a green one. So yeah, there's a whole different, you know, different ones. So love that. And then for eyeliner... For liquid liner, I love my Maybelline Line Stiletto. Definitely been using this for a good part of the year. I've now gone into gel liners. I like them a little bit better, but I still go back to my trusty Maybelline Line Stiletto. And then for eyeliner, just like regular eyeliner, I love my Chanel um, Stylo. I don't, I don't know, some kind of waterproof one. I can't pronounce that. Um, it's just in ebony, so just black. And it looks like that. I've had this since my freshman year in high school, which probably isn't that good, but really. Not freshman year in high school, freshman year in college. I'm a liar. So yeah, me and my friends all bought the same one at the same time we went to the Chanel counter. Now, this is about 7 or $8. This is, I believe it's 25 around that kind of price point. Um... 
you know, do what you want. But I love my Chanel. Um, and then, okay. So, for eye primers, I love, and this is the only one that I'm showing, my um, Painterly Paint Pot for my eye primer. It is 15 15 17 50 17 50 or 15 dollars um you could see i put a nice dent in there because i use it i use it every single day since i have gotten it i no longer use my um whatchamacallit my urban decay primer potion no longer use it don't like it as much like this i don't only just use this for my eyes i use it for under my eyes before my concealer i use it on my pimples or my zits before my concealer i use it on my blemishes before my concealer i use it to cover up anything you need because it's the exact match of my skin and it just works so well like i recommend this for every single person like there's not a lot that i recommend for every single person but if you have skin coloring like me or around the same you know paint pots are amazing they could do so much they don't just have to you know be for your eyes so love that then for gel liners I love my dip down fluid line this is I believe $15 it's just a nice black, uh, brown color um so yeah love that it's nice and I don't know why I'm going like this it's nice and creamy and it's just you know I use I go over the line twice and it's done and it's perfect and beautiful and they come in a range of colors, fluid lines and they're not too expensive. They're $15 which I don't think is too big because I know the Bobbi Brown ones are $22. There's some Inglot ones that are a little bit cheaper. I've never tried that. I've only tried the Bobbi and then there's like the YSL. I love my YSL. You know there's a couple different you know ones but I definitely like my fluid line. I have three different colors but dip down is my favorite. Then, okay, I'm going to do three separate things. From now, from for my eyes, I really don't have, like, um, cheap drugstore ones. I like cheaper, like, drugstore products. To show you, I just have pretty much higher ends. So for a single shadow, I love my NARS Ashes to Ashes. It's this beautiful brown color. And I'll show you. It's right there. And then I also, oh no, hold on, let me get my, there's one other that I want to show you. Okay, and then I also love my Max, um, whatchamacallit, what is it, Satin Taupe. They're very similar, and I love wearing both of them at the same time. I use Satin Taupe, which is the top one, and Ashes to Ashes, the bottom one. Satin Taupe in the crease, Ashes to Ashes all over my eye, and I look, I love that combination together. So for a quad, I love my Bare Minerals um, Truth Quad. It has four different shadows. Oh, NARS is 23. Um, MAC is $14.50 if you get it in the pan, $11.50. If you get the pro one online. Um, so yeah. So anyway. So the Truth Quad. Love every single color in here. Um, this one right here is Magnetism. And I use this all over my eye. It's like. It's that right there. And then I use um, this color which is. Fate, that's what it looks like. I use that in my um, crease. My hands are getting like all dirty, and I want to show you these. And then I use um, Apropos on my outer corner. It's more just like a nicer chestnut kind of color. And then I use Serendipitous. In, like as a all over like as a highlight so I love all four of these colors if you want you know the bare minerals I use like I used to have like a couple loose shadows from them and I wasn't a big fan but when these came out and I swatched them at um, Sephora I fell in love and I thought you know I would just try a neutral palette for first for the first apparently I stutter now um, 
you know, to see how they were. And I'm in love with them. They're soft and creamy, and they look amazing on. And they have a very nice, um, like, you know, they're very wearable, and they last all day. And then for a palette, my favorite palette of the year is my Naked Palette. I have the first Naked, I have this Naked Palette, and I have the second Naked Palette, but I just got the second, so I wanted to go with the first because I use it. I mean, some people use it more than I did, but I still love it. So I, I use Naked and Buck all the time to do my um, eyebrows. Not wearing it today, but that's what I usually use. That's what a little. I love this. This is an e.l.f. liner pencil that came with some cream shadow that I got. Cream like liner, but I use it for my brows instead. It's really nice for that. My favorite is Sidecar. I love it, the kind of like um, silvery, champagne-y kind of colors. Um, I love my Dark Horse because I love darker creases. And I love um, Sin and Virgin for highlights. And yeah, I like I when I want to do like a smoky eye, like I like having that creep and gunmetal in here too because I don't have a lot of like dark, dark, like I don't have like really like a lot of black shadows or gray shadows. So I love that. And this is definitely a good investment if you're big into neutral eyes because it has so many different shades in here. It doesn't just have, you know, it has two mattes, like a, the rest are shimmers, but then you also have your like, you know, you could do a smoky eye with these two, with the creep and the gunmetal. Or you can do the smoky eye like a plummy smoky eye with your toasted and your hustle. Or like, you know, they just, they do a really good range of colors. And then you could use black or naked in your crease just to um, buff everything out. And they have two good, really good, um, whatchamacallit, two really good highlight colors. So they definitely planned it out well. And it was a hit. So... Love that. And then, last but not least, oh, well, it's not least or last. It's, um, I have a couple more things. It is my lip products. Okay, so I have four. I'm going to start off with the drugstore ones. Um, so yeah, so for drugstore, I love my lip butters. I'm just going to show you this one. This one is Red Velvet. I'll put it on my lip. I love the consistency of these. They're so light and creamy. And so they look like a gloss to me. But they're even better than that. So I have like eight or seven of them. Some crazy amount of number. I love all the, sh pretty much all the shades are really nice. I like the darker ones. I like this one in Raspberry Pi the most. Next, I'll do my other drugstore. So this is my favorite lipstick. It's the CoverGirl... I don't know what it is. It's CoverGirl. It's the CoverGirl lipsticks. I don't know what the name of them are. But this one's in Divine. It's just a purple color. And it looks amazing on your lips. Now, um, MAC has one very similar. But I didn't want to pay $15 for a MAC lipstick. Because I didn't know if I was going to like the color so much. So I went to my drugstore, picked it up. CoverGirl was having a buy one, get one 50% off thing. And... So yeah, so I bought this and a couple others. It was in a haul at one point, and I absolutely love this color, the purple color. I wear it, and I get compliments all the time on it. Um, these are $7.49, and this is around the same price, maybe $8. And then, okay, so my favorite other two from, not drugstore, more high-end, is the YSL Volupt Sheer Candy. This one's in number four. This is pomegranate. I also have the number five, the um, the wild berry. It's just a sheer kind of gloss, and it's beautiful on your lips, and it smells amazing. And if you didn't hear me, it smells amazing. 